Monday morning. Welcome to the vlog. We have maple pecan coffee, a dead computer, so we're charging. Full water. Let me take a sip. Mm. A rainy, dark day and an afternoon of junk journaling. I collected so much junk over the weekend. Like, I'm actually so excited to make this. I think the spread is gonna be so pretty. Got back late last night, like 11 p.m. from our trip. Feeling so fresh, ready to get back to work and like just be my best self again. I'm not feeling sick anymore, so I'm really excited about that. It is truly so shocking the way the brain works. Like I, for some reason, totally blocked out that this was not gonna be my week. <laughs> this is this is not the high-spirited vlog that I thought it was gonna be. Um, for some reason, I think I was horrified of what was to come, so I just, you know, subconsciously blocked it out. But don't worry, the block does get removed <laughs> later in the vlog. So just be aware, this is not the vlog. I thought it was going to be. I had so much fun this weekend, like truly so much fun. I'll give you like a whole recap of the trip because I took clips of my phone and I'll walk you through and tell you everything that went down. It was such a nice weekend. But now we gotta get back to work and my computer is dead and I am impatient. Okay, she's back, she's back. So we're getting right to it. So we got some editing to do, gotta get the week started. You know, it's a Monday, I'm feeling fresh. I'm like pretty excited actually to get back to work and I love that. I love going away and not really thinking about work at all. I mean, obviously I'm gonna take clips of my phone because I would do that whether or not I was posting it. So I don't consider that work at all. But getting to come back from a trip feeling rejuvenated and excited to get back to work is the best feeling ever. So this is where I'm gonna be for the morning. breakfast i have some cheesy eggs and half a bagel with some cream cheese and truffle glaze it's gonna be so good i have to order groceries because i have just but nothing it's still really gray and dark outside so i actually moved down to the couch it's just comfier down there for you know rainy dark day mm. i usually add things to my eggs but i don't have anything in the fridge right now and you know what sometimes just simple eggs and cheese so good my little bagel thin is gonna hit too it's no new york bagel but it's still gonna hit Mm-hmm. Yes. The day is really getting away from me here. It's moving too fast. I feel like on gray days where it's just like, I don't know, all gray. I don't notice time moving because nothing, because it doesn't look like the day is changing, if that makes sense. So it's felt like morning all day, but it is now 325. My family's on their way here right now. We're gonna go for a little family walk. I haven't seen my mom in so long. It is so upsetting. Obviously we FaceTime and whatnot, but it's not the same, you know, as being in person. And tomorrow is her surgery. So we're doing a little family walk. My brother's in town for the week. He got in on the weekend and he's gonna be here all week. And uh, they're gonna be here any minute for our little family walk. Uh, my mom hasn't been inside with anyone in a while. She tries to do everything outside. Like if she's gonna see somebody just to, you know, prevent getting sick, hopefully. I feel like everyone's getting sick right now. And obviously I was sick last week. So we are doing something outside. It's gonna be really nice to see them. I feel kind of emotional right now and I need to get my shit together so that I don't show that. I don't wanna put that on my mom. So I'm gonna really try to keep it together, but I feel pretty emotional over, you know, her surgery being tomorrow. It's, it's good. Um, that this will finally be done with, but it's a pretty big surgery and I know she's really nervous and um, that makes me really nervous. It's all gonna be fine, it's all gonna be fine, but 
you know, that's what's going on. So they're gonna be here momentarily. We're gonna go for our family stroll. Brady's gonna be here too. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in so long. It should be nice to see them and catch up and all the good stuff. <laughs> Do I hear Brady? we get to visit this week. I don't know what the deal is with visitors. Obviously, you know, it's my number one priority this week. Whenever I'm able to visit, I'm going to be there. So it's hard. Anyways, it was really nice to just sit with my family. We just went to a coffee shop and sat there and just chatted. And it was really nice. The four of us and Brady, of course, five of us. Anyways, I'm just going to try and get some work done here for a little bit. And, uh, <sighs> all right guys it is a little bit later i didn't end up doing any more work my boyfriend called me when he got back from the office and it made me feel better so we're picking the vibes back up i'm gonna call my mom in an hour or so see how she's doing and then i'm probably gonna talk to you again tomorrow but for now well my vibes are more lifted we're gonna have some dinner i have a couple options but i'm gonna go for the most comfort food of all the options so we'll see but i got my boxing from factor i actually love factor so factor is actually a meal subscription service and the meals come to your door pre-cooked which is just so convenient like as much as i do enjoy cooking i really do sometimes you just don't want to cook and you still want to like eat healthy they just go right in the microwave for two minutes and then you have like yummy healthy food everything comes Comes insulated so if you're not home for the delivery um your food's gonna be fine okay we got harissa chicken yum oh chicken pesto cavatappi they also have lots of different like categories of food so if you're following keto or if you're trying to go heavier on protein they have options for you sun-dried tomato chicken oh that might be the one tonight that's screaming comfort food cranberry barbecue chicken like i'm set oh my god creamy parmesan chicken or this one tonight. And last but not least, we have honey butter diced chicken. <gasps> and the sauce is up there. Actually, these all sound really good. I don't even know which one to have. But like now I have lunch ready for tomorrow. So when I'm inevitably anxious in the morning, I don't have to worry about it because otherwise like I will not cook. And then it's just, you know, this is like very convenient right now. As I am working with them, I do have a discount for you. I'm gonna have my link down below, but it's just factor75.com and you can use the code TaraMichelle50 for 50% 50 off your first box and then 20% off your next month of orders. Thank you very much to Factor for working with me. I'm genuinely stoked. I think my gut is telling me sun-dried tomato chicken. It's looking creamy and oh. That is so saucy. I picked the right one. This looks so good. I should also add this is so fresh. Like this is not a frozen meal. Literally perfect for anyone that does not enjoy cooking or just doesn't have the time to. Like I know there's lots of people that work really late hours and just do not have the time or the mental capacity to cook meals when you get home from work. This is I think perfect because you still want to like eat well and I think this is a good way of doing it. Setting up the couch station for dinner. We cover and protect the white couch okay let's try a bite together and then i'm gonna throw on my show and then i'm gonna take a nice long either hot shower or bath maybe i go bath cheers this is insane this always startles me anyways this is insane the sauce is so creamy this is perfect mm. all right we're switching back to voiceover over here i still wanted to like bring you along on my evening but i just didn't have any kind of mental capacity to speak out loud so i watched my show ate my dinner my groceries arrived i just ordered some like essentials a spider apparently came in with them <laughs> took care of that and here we have a little grocery haul we got some bagel thins love these grape tomatoes of course 
some eggs, classic breakfast, you know. Big thing of spinach, I'm a big spinach girl. Uh, cottage cheese, I've been getting lactose free lately. I don't, I don't know, it tastes the same. Big thing of tzatziki, the summer fresh one, so good. A zucchini for some veg, red onion, and then some avocados. Just very simple essentials haul, like stuff for breakfast and like a random little snack. And then speaking of snacks, I decided to have one. <laughs> I was like, you know what sounds good right now? A sweet treat. So I made my Greek yogurt, peanut butter, chocolate thing. It's so good. I just finished off my Greek yogurt. I didn't have much left and then took around a tablespoon of peanut butter, kind of just wing the measurements and it just turns out so good. I mix those two together and then I add some protein powder. This is vanilla protein powder and I pretty much just add in as much as I can fit in there without it looking clumpy and gross. And then I also add half a little thing of sweetener. Mix that up, throw in some chocolate chips. Tonight's options were semi-sweet or these cream cheese flavor ones. And I decided let's go all the way sweet. Full sweet tonight. So good, definitely boosted my spirits. And then woke up the next morning with a really dark gray day, which just really fit the energy in the air in my family and just, it was, this was a bad day. Yeah, but we met the rock star. <laughs> Was he amazing? They hooked her up to a whole bunch of different things, of course. Uh, didn't get the out of or whatever. And then so, when uh, should she be out? Rockstar is going to be calling me, he said, uh, probably around four. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Talk to you then. Bye. The morning was pretty grim, honestly, just trying to kill time, waiting to hear something. After I knew that my mom was in surgery, it was just like autopilot, you know? I was so thankful to have food in the fridge that I could just warm up because it, it was the only way. <laughs> this is gonna be a weird vlog, guys. <laughs> this is gonna be a weird vlog. Ah. I was like in such good spirits starting this vlog yesterday. I was excited to be back and like ready to just crush the week. And then, you know, reality set in. What am I doing? I can't function right now. This morning sucked. This morning was um, terrible. It's been terrible. I feel okay now, but I do believe it will be a wavy day of emotions. My mom's in surgery right now. Been on the phone with my dad a lot. Got to speak to her this morning, which was really great. And then it was kind of devastating when the doctors came in and like, she just had to give her phone to my dad and I didn't get to like say goodbye at the end of our conversation. We were just like chatting and then, yeah. Anyways, been on the phone with my dad and called my grandparents and talking to my aunt and gotten lots of nice messages from my friends. Sarah sent my mom flowers, which is so nice. Maddie sent my mom a beautiful text last night before surgery. <sighs> my mom is so loved by so many people and it's really, really sweet and I know everyone is thinking of her right now. And it warms my heart, but it's really hard. It's really hard to do things right now, just like waiting. But I know sitting and just, you know, thinking about it isn't gonna do anything. So here we are to try to carry on as normal. This is normal. I've also, you know, brought you guys along on, you know, the journey of life. <laughs> and I've gotten so many messages every single day since I, you know, talked about what my mom was going through. My camera cut me off. <laughs> Anyways, I've gotten so many messages from so many of you guys asking how she's doing like every single day. And I think it is so nice. My mom is the best. Just very lucky that we live in a city with such a great hospital and great doctors and it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's just, you know, waiting until we hear is gonna suck. So, really happy to have food that I don't have to worry about cooking. <laughs> Quite honestly, because if I didn't have this right now, I probably wouldn't feed myself and that's not healthy. So, this is very good. I've just been trying to work this morning and I'm doing a bad job at that, but chatting with you guys. You guys have been through so much with me and this is just what's going on in my life right now it's kind of weird to vlog i'm not gonna lie but there are so many people that have experienced something similar and i hope that i don't know i don't even know what i hope i just this is just my reality right now and i i could decide not to vlog and just sit but i don't know if that's better for me i feel like in summer my battery died honestly i feel like doing this for as long as I've done it. It's been a form of therapy in some regard to talk to you guys whenever I have thoughts, feelings, emotions, go through anything, like sitting down and talking to my camera like I am right now is just a really great way of me processing my feelings and like just processing. I've done it for so long. I mean, how many times have I sat down on like floors with you guys just talking and I'm very thankful to have this outlet and I'm thankful that people care. 
honestly. Honestly, I'm just gonna eat this and I think I'm just gonna paint because I'm doing a half-assed job of work anyways that I may as well do something that will make me feel good on the inside. So anyways, my lunch looks fire. <laughs> Why did I say that? I don't know. This vlog is honestly really weird for me to edit because it's just so all over the place. There's highs, there's lows. And I think it's the reality of like what I went through. There were moments where I could numb it out and just focus on my work and feel like it was a normal day. And then waves of feeling like I could get a call at any second that's just gonna ruin my entire life. You know, it was fucking, it was, it was terrible. There are no words to explain. And it's really weird documenting this because it fluctuates. It continued to fluctuate the entire day. Like this is just a really weird vlog and it's very vulnerable and weird and it's weird for me to watch back, honestly. And I, I don't know how this translates on the internet. So uh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. It's 1.15. I just got approval for the vlog that was going on today. They, uh, there was a brand in it and they finally just gave me the green light. So I'm going live. And I think now I'm gonna finally get into a long hot shower because I did not do that yesterday. <laughs> I'm so relieved. <laughs> She's had a surgery and the doctor said that there were no complications and they got everything and that she should be 100% cancer free. He told an hour early though and so when I saw his name pop up on my phone, it was just like, <laughs> panic. This has been a terrible day. This has been a terrible day. But she's okay. She's gonna be okay. She's okay, she's out. Oh my God, that was the fucking scariest thing ever. Hearing the relief in my dad's voice too, like, holy fuck. <laughs> kept asking him if he wanted me to be there with him and he said he preferred just to be alone. So we've all just been, you know, processing this separately. My aunts, my brother and I separated, just like I'm trying to get through the day. Fuck. Holy fuck. Oh God, this day has been weighing on us for so long. And you know, open heart surgery isn't very chill. So it's just really scary. I'm just so thankful. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit. I can't stop crying. Well, I just got the text. Oh. She's been transferred out, so I'll see her in 10 minutes. Oh my god, yay. Yeah, I can't believe this day is over. It's fucking over. Thank god, thank god. I'll talk to you after. Okay, good luck in there. Tell her I love her. I will. Okay, love you, Dad. Love you, Bye. <sighs> The relief that I felt was immeasurable, but at the same time, I, I like could not stop crying. It was just so much emotion that I had built up that I had like numbed myself out to. And just the relief of knowing that she got through the surgery and that it went well, like there, there are no words to describe. And I was just so mentally like, it was, it, it was an emotional hangover. I, I can't even describe to you where my head was at that I just wanted to paint and sit with myself. And so I just focused in on something creative that, you know, makes me feel good. And I did that for a while. And I had originally told my management I was gonna go to this event this evening. And I don't know in what world I thought that that was a good idea, but they had confirmed with me the night before and then I felt bad bailing. And it was for a brand that I really love and I felt like I should show face. And so I pushed myself to get ready, even though I just like really didn't have it in me. I was so drained, but I also really wanted to see Sarah cause she's going away for three weeks to Asia. And I didn't want to feel like a bad friend and you know, bad at my work cause I wasn't productive all day. I just had so much guilt on so many angles and I just felt it was, it was just, I cannot describe to you how I felt. So I got myself together and I left the house. <laughs> I think this is the perfect example of how true it is that, you know, you really have no idea what's going on in someone's life unless you know them personally. Like going to this event and having a smile on my face, getting a drink and acting like my normal self or trying my best, nobody would know. And I was struggling so hard inside. And obviously Sarah knew and she's the best. Like she was just really trying to bring up my spirits and make me feel like, you know, things are gonna be good. Things are going up from here. But at the time I was just so emotionally drained and I was in no place to be in an influencer event, honestly. But sometimes that's what it is. You just gotta 
put your shit behind you and try. And I think ultimately it was good for me to get out instead of just sitting at home crying my eyes out all day because in reality, my mom got through it and she's doing great. And obviously I'm recording this after the fact and I feel a lot better, but this is just a real reminder that the people you watch on the internet are living real lives, going through real things. And I think it's really important to be mindful because not everyone's comfortable talking about things in the moment or even can share things in the moment. And you just really never know. So I think it's just a reminder to be kind and respectful towards people, you know? Anyone? Um, I think I might well, do. I'll do whatever. Oh, I won't like that. So I'll get this one. Then why would you like that? It says martini. No, but it's, it's like a Cosmo. Oh, okay. like Cosmo. Well, I'll get the other one so we can try. Okay. It's <laughs> 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 So I jumped through the original junk room. I bought the house. We did it somehow. I would way. like to point out, I've asked to see your scrapbook for a year. Yes, I've been like, this is your scrapbook. And you're like, no, it's too private, it's too whatever. And then you make a video on the internet of your scrapbook. I went, that's how I found out. Just, I, like you guys, watching the vlog. I full sent it now. I'm kind of just like, best friends, they're just like you. <laughs> I had to text like, I was like, wait a day, a minute. Wait, wait, wait a day, a minute. minute. Oh, I, I'm looking at my face and I'm like, whoa, she's puffy. I, I do okay. You look glowing. She looks glowing. She looks like she has new life. It's cleansed, it's hydrated, it's giving hydration. <laughs> I'm a jet lag, summer price. I need that. I think they're going to get out of jet lag now. So I'm going to my flight to my boyfriend. Also, I'm going to go. Alright, we're going to chat. Sarah leaves tomorrow, which is why I've left the house. The only reason. Sad. Why did I wear a tuxedo? We made it through. My face is still really puffy. Every time I look at myself, I'm kind of startled. But I made it out. I showed face. It's one of my favorite brands. So it's really good to see Sarah before she left. And now I'm here at my boyfriend's. And he got us food. And now we're going to eat. And I'm very thankful for it. We have smashed cucumber salad, steamed rice, garlic, Chinese broccoli, chicken mushroom dumplings. And then we got chicken over here. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, this is perfect. And some wine. And I will be here. Anyways, it's been a day. It's all gonna get better from here. I'm gonna visit my mom tomorrow, which I'm very thankful for. And I am gonna end the vlog here. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna turn my brain off. We're gonna watch Big Brother. And tomorrow's gonna be a better day. So thanks for coming along on the journey. Uh, this was a this was a vlog. So I love you and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>